hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Cold Vengeance, Celtic Banner, Cryptic Schluth, Horboard, Sebastian, Drum Weird Blue Dude. What's going on tonight, everyone? Welcome to our Thursday evening stream. Hope you had a good week, I guess. We're getting near the end of the week. What's up, Shake Up Blaze? Calm down, Matthew Heisenbrat. Uh, super! I just bought Ad Nauseam and Dredge today. Super excited to dive into Modern. Well, those are some sweet decks to dive into Modern with. Sounds like fun. King's Dad Man, Idol Bill, the Canadian Wanderer, Bot Punchles, Weird Blue Dude, how goes it? Yes, I'm kind of excited to try out this deck. This deck is super fun looking. We're going to make a lot of tokens, I know that much. Digs and Don, for the third month in a row, welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for Art New Subscriber. Fabio, good to see you tonight. And Mr. Burkondu, Cold Vengeance, good to see you as well. Yes, no Scarab God, stuck with the straight Esper, or the straight non-esper, the straight Abzan build. No splashing. Esco, another 12-month resubscriber. Thank you so much for the resub. Big scoops here for you. And Corgon X, welcome you to the fishbowl as well. Big scoops cheers for you too. Uh, no sacred cat. So this build is a little bit different than the one in the instant deck tech. The instant deck tech was like a little over a week ago, and it's kind of been updated a little bit. We'll talk about the changes. There's not a lot of changes. The same, it's the same core of the deck, the same idea. Anyway, well, let's, let's do our reminders. So then we can get into, we can get into the deck, get into the leagues, because these games are going to take a while. From what I've seen, I haven't actually played the token side of these matchups, but every time I've played against tokens, it has been super long, grindy games. You're trying to win by making tons of 1-1s, one -one, so we probably should jump into our league, and then we can talk about deck lists. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm trying to find someone sent a deck list that had Dowsing Dagger and Panharmonicon in it. Someone sent it to me a few days ago, trying to find that deck list. So if you're here or you know who it was, find me that deck list, because I really want to find it again. I don't think it's, like, super competitive, but it was really spicy, and I don't want to dig through my Twitter feed forever. But anyway, let's do our reminders. Of course, the MTG Goldfish Replay YouTube. That's where you can find all the old streams including this stream in the future. That'll be going up tomorrow. And then the normal YouTube is where you can find all the normal series, Budget Magic. We had our super sweet Teamer Miracle Grow deck that we also played on stream. Friendly Passerby, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. And then the merch page, tokens and t-shirts and playmats, if you're looking for a way to support the stream and the channel or the site, anything like that, that is, uh, that is a way to do it. Also, donations are available down below, definitely not required, but always appreciated. Two dollars or more gets your message read on stream. Uh, the stream is going to be tomorrow. No, 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 it'll go, it'll be uploaded tomorrow to the replay YouTube. If you, if you miss any of the stream, you can always go back and watch the replay YouTube. Uh, tomorrow. So anyway, we are playing some Abzan Tokens tonight, and you might have seen this deck before. We've like run into this deck, playing various decks on videos, playing uh, on the stream. So the basic engine of this deck is Anointed Procession, which I am so happy that Anointed Procession is a real card. It looks like a fun casual card. It doesn't look like a standard staple, but it's a legit card in standard. So the engine of the deck is Hidden Stockpile with Anointed Procession. Basically, if we get these cards out together, every turn we just sack something, like our Servo token, and then we get two Servos. If we have more Anointed Processions, more Hidden Stockpiles, we get even more. So we just slowly spiral things out of control with more 1-1s one -ones and more 1-1s one -ones and more 1-1s one -ones and more 1-1s one -ones until it takes over the game. So that's the basic engine, the most powerful synergy of the deck. We also have some sweet support cards. Anointer Priest gains us a ton of life as our engine is running, so we're making like four tokens a turn, eight tokens a turn. We're gaining all that life, makes it really hard for opponent to kill us. Also comes back with Embalm as a token as well, so we get two Anointer Priests in the late game if we have Anointed Procession out. So that's another part of the engine. Other token producers, we have Legion's Landing, which comes down on turn one. Eventually we're going to flip it around and then we can make two or three or four 
of our lifelink vampire tokens with anointed procession so that's another big token producer sun scourge champion just to help in the mono red matchup the ramen on red matchup does eternalize as a token one treasure map which generates a bunch of card advantage then we have some planeswalker token producers one liliana which eh you know is fine but the big one is Veraska. that's our other big finisher play Veraska. we got a million of jump blockers we just keep plussing and plussing get our opponent to one life let's us close out the game a little bit quicker with all of our tokens as far as removal the spiciest removal is probably a copy of start to finish makes a bunch of warrior tokens depending on our anointed processions lets us sack one of our tokens which does trigger revolt for our hidden stockpiles and kill something cast outs and fatal pushes which are super strong in this deck since we're always triggering revolt with hidden stockpile and also fumigate as a sweeper renegade map lets us cut back on lands a little bit we only have 22 real lands to go with the renegades maps which are just a basically a land that also triggers revolt uh, and then desert chef at dunes just helps pump our tokens a little bit so that's basically what we got going on with abzan tokens it is going to be long and grindy goal is going to be to not time out hopefully sideboard wise authority helps against mono red we actually have a lot of mono red stuff authority is good against mono red sun scourge champion regal caracal can even be good against mono red angel of sanctions gives us some removal for bigger things and then a bunch of control stuff with duresses and lost legacies for like approach uh, i guess we could go after scarab gods or something and a bantu's last reckoning so that's what we got tonight. Abzan tokens. You don't see how the deck wins. Yeah, the deck, it wins very slowly. I've played against this deck a bunch of times, and it really is... Eventually, you're just getting like four one ones a turn. Then you're getting like eight one ones a turn, and eventually that adds up to enough one ones that you win the game. So, that, so that is pretty much the plan of the deck. There's other than Veraska Ultimate, there is no big fast finish that just closes things out. The single single Bantu's Last Reckoning. I am actually not 100 percent sure why that is in the sideboard. I guess it's good against more aggressive lists. But hey, welcome, O Dog. Good to have you at the stream. So that's what we're battling with. Tonight. This is, we had an instant deck tech of Abzan tokens. This build is a little bit updated, uh, like the Liliana was added, the one uh, Sun Scourge Champion was added. So a couple of slight changes from the instant deck tech deck, but it's basically the same deck as the instant deck deck. Planeswalker Ultimates is definitely our fastest way of actually closing out the game. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Hey, what's up, whoa, whoa, Tabernak? How goes it tonight? feel like it needs more Caracal in the 75. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could play more. We already have a lot of expensive stuff in the sideboard, though. That might be the reason we only have one, because we have the Angel of Sanctions in the 5-drop slot, too. Uh, fourth Fumigate, I'm guessing it's got to just be like an aggro thing, but yeah, I would think that additional Fumigate would make more sense as well. I didn't actually build this list. This is, like I said, one of our instant deck tech decks, so... Uh, this hand, I guess, is fine. We have hidden stockpiles. That's one of our big, big, uh, big hitters. We can cycle cast out. We'll try this. Hey, welcome, Darskat. How goes it tonight? What's up, J-Rod? Yeah, no Aketra. Akret Aketra basically got cut for, I guess, the Sunskirt Champion or Liliana. Those are the kind of in that slot instead. Aketra's a little bit slow, and if everyone's playing removal for Scarab Gods and Hazarets and stuff, Aketra's a little bit worse. What's up, Blackout? Good to see ya. Why not Dust Dawn instead of Fumigate? We actually just don't have many creatures to get back with Dust Dawn. That is the big problem. Shadow 11591 for the ninth month in a row says, Keep up the awesome work. Happy to see the return of Rough Drafts. Well, thank you for your resub. I'm happy to see... The return of rough drafts too it's fun to do a little bit of limited now and then oh yeah stream mode thank you uh dace stream mode stream mode opponent i don't know what our opponent's on could be esper tokens could be blue black control which was pretty popular i think we're gonna cycle cast out though into more cast outs all right, that's fine. So, Evolving Wilds, get down Hidden Stockpile. We get a free Revolt Trigger with our Evolving Wilds next turn. We are playing a competitive league tonight. See if we can win some chess. If we do good enough, 5-0 could get the list published, which uh, would be sweet. Thematic Compass? Whoo! Okay. That's a lot of card advantage. That's another card I haven't really seen played. Well, 
I feel like we're in pretty good shape just because we can play a second hidden stockpile. Evolving Wilds, crack Evolving Wilds, grab a... Hmm... Do we? I guess we get our green mana, we get our one forest, and pass the turn. Now we get to start getting free servos, and now we can start scrying to find more lands and stuff. Last draft draft was particularly rough. Wouldn't have drafted many of those cards. Yeah, that was a, a bit of a rough one. I don't know. I don't think I'm very good at, at Ixalan Limited. Usually I'm decent at Limited, but ugh, Ixalan. Not this time. Fumigate to the bottom. Yeah, all right. Draw champion. Cycle cast out. We just mostly want a land drop here. All right, there's a land. Get in with our servo. Yeah, it feels like we should be in pretty good shape, especially with already having down multiple hidden stockpiles. We should be able to grind through this control deck pretty easily. Get in with our opponent. Yeah, I don't know. What's your... What are all of your opinions on Ixalan Limited? Personally, I haven't been that impressed. New donation from Pyrognix. Finally caught the stream live. I watch your content every day. Keep up the good work. Well, Pyrotechnics, thank you so much for the donation. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching the videos. What's up, dear Torbs? How goes it tonight? Gifted Aetherborn. I guess that's kind of slowing. Well, I guess we can just Fatal Push it. Let's keep upkeep scrying for now. I think we mostly just want to hit our land drops. Ooh, Grixis, say. Oh, we got to keep... Hmm. Uh, Anointed Procession is so good in this deck. Is it ever right to scry it to the bottom? Been trying to get a hold of you by Moto and email last couple days regarding my deck tech and my PTQ deck. Would that be something Goldfish would be interested in having? And have I had a chance to go over the piece? I did get the email. I haven't actually had a chance to go over it yet, but I'll try to get back to you tomorrow. I'll try to uh, read it over and get back to you. It's going well, Fibing, uh Thimgan. How are you? My opinion on Ixalan Limited is it feels like watered down tribal, kind of like worse lower win. <sighs> all right, we'll keep it. Based on all of your recommendations. And I think we just kill Gifted Aetherborn so we can keep attacking. Bomboxmik, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Whoo! Oh boy! Oh boy! You know life is not going well when you are abrading servos with two hidden stockpiles on the board. <laughs> oh, poor opponent. Poor opponent. Main phase? Main phase compass? Oh, boy. Oh, man, if we get down this anointed... Per oh, main phase glimmer! That means... That means... That means anointed procession should be coming down. Oh, lordy. No duress. Come on, no duress. The question is... Uh, uh, can we upkeep scry? How greedy are we? How greedy are we? Is there a way to rent cards on Magic Online? Nah... Hmm. I don't... I'm not sure. Not that I'm actually aware of. Best way to get decks to you, email or Twitter? Uh, email, I will definitely see it, but Twitter usually gets to me faster. Just play Procession. Are you sure? All right. I would have loved to scry that Fumigate to the bottom, because now we don't actually get any tokens here. But I guess that's fine. As long as we don't get Wrath or something, it's pretty fine. Uh, Avalanche, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoop's here for our new subscriber. Okay, can you rent cards for Magic Online for Mana Traders? Oh, yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I believe there are. Yep, that's not good. Well, the only good news is we do have Sun Scourge Champion. Ooh, and Legion's Landing. So, hmm. What's the best way of doing this? New donation from GoldToothRick, $3. No message, but thank you so much, GoldToothRick. Definitely appreciate the donation. Um, yeah, let's just champion, gain some life, sack champion. I think that's better than Legion's Landing. Cast out, 
I think we're going to put to the bottom. Pass the turn. Start servoing up some damage. Rafawa, welcome to the fishbowl for the fourth month in a row. Greetings from Austria. Well, greetings from the U.S. And uh, thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. That's a Nicole Bolas, Planeswalker. That's not good. We'll see what our opponent does. We do need to kill this Nicole Bolas pretty quick here. Exiles two cards from their hand. Well, Fumigate Veraska, unfortunately. Flips around Compass. Um, jeez, Nicole Bolas. All right, no scry yet. We draw planes. Oh, we're going to lose our other Veraska. Uh, play the planes. Play Legion's Landing. Doubles up. Send everything and Nicole Bolas. This is pretty good because it flips our Legion's Landing. So hit Nicole Bolas. I think we do have to kill Nicole, though. Can we expect any Legacy content soon? There's so much spice and jank in Legacy. Yeah, I gotta do more Legacy content. We don't do enough Legacy content. That is, that is for sure. It's just hard to find the, the right spot for it, but hopefully we'll have some more Legacy content in the not super distant future. And yeah, Sack of Servo. Revolt. Uh, I guess Swamp to the bottom. Get some more Servos. Well, our opponent needs to keep wrathing, or we are going to make it through... We are going to make it through this Nicole Bolas. Glimmer of Genius. I think it's better to wait on the champion and just make a vampire. It lets us make creatures at end of turn if our opponent has a wrath. The Funky Oboe for the ninth month in a row. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our resubscriber. What do you think about Black White Vampire tokens in Standard? Yeah, there's the Sweltering Suns. It's not good. Not good for us. Well, good thing we... I mean, I guess the champion would have got around it too, but I think this is fine. Opponent gets a Legion's Landing. Plays the Legion's Landing. Yup. <sighs> okay. I guess we gotta wait till end step. I can't believe they just rammed into Nicole Bolas. I mean, thankfully we have our engine online. So, make some vampires. Opponent fatal pushes a vampire. Oh dear. Oh dear. Evolving Wilds. So we can run out for Raska, but doesn't it just. Oh, it's going to die to Nicole Bolas. I guess we get to make pirates. I mean, I think we run it out because Nicole Bolas can take it from her hand. So run out for Raska. Play Veraska. Plus Veraska for two pirates. Tag our opponent. Yeah, the Wilds is actually pretty good here. It's going <laughs> to... Cracking this Evolving Wilds is actually going to make us four servos. I want to see Salt Eye Vehicles deck. Yeah, we'll have to play that at some point. So Evolving Wilds, crack Evolving Wilds. For revolt purposes. Get a planes. Pass the turn. Get some servos. Techolonic. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Yeah, Shuka plays. They have Nicole Bolas, the God Pharaoh. Been working on a modern deck using seismic swans in a blue red scred blood moon deck. With Madcap, Platinum, and Purion combo. Uh, that sounds super spicy. <laughs> 
Sounds like it has a lot of moving pieces, but it sounds sweet. There's anointed procession. Uh, magic card with the most sentimental value. Maybe like stasis, I guess I would probably go with. Watch our opponent be able to make tokens with our anointed procession. They probably have Raska's Contempt. That would make sense. The Gentle Lurch, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for Art New Subscriber. Yeah, there goes Veraska. Alright, we draw a land. So, go to Nicole Bolas. Man, I would love to kill this Nicole Bolas. That would make me so happy. Attack Nicole Bolas. Hey, what's up, 595? How goes it tonight? Opponent blocks. Sure, we'll trade. A braids. All right, so... S sacrifice the pirate. Yeah, opponent untaps the pirate. Fatal push to the bottom. Oh, lordy. And then get back our Sun Scourge champion. Gain some life. Get some servos. Pass the turn. I mean, we do have our opponent under a lot of pressure. They just have to, like, keep hitting Ras over and over and over again. This or that magic, clues versus treasures. Oh, man. Clues definitely would win, I think. But that is a good this or that idea. Went 5-0 last night with Mono Red Tron with Star of Extinction. That is pretty spicy. Oh my god, our opponent! <laughs> our opponent's doing it off in the Kovalas. Seriously! They have, they're making tokens with the Noina Procession out. Mega <laughs> Mad Gonzilla, uh, welcome to the Fishbowl. <laughs> Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. We don't have Lethal here, do we? Oh, not. We don't have it anymore. All right, we draw more hidden stockpiles. Well, play hidden stockpile. Everything at Nicole Bolas. Man, if we can get this Nicole Bolas off the battlefield, this game is taking such a ridiculous turn. When they flip, yeah, hopefully they don't. Then they could, well, they wouldn't have the white mana, I guess, to keep making tokens every turn. When it flips, what does this say? I guess it probably would go on our side, actually. Alright, everything in the Kobolas. Do we finally get it? Uh, cats ate my face! Welcome to the fishbowl! Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Alright, Sakar 4-4. Four four. And decked out cards for the 10th month in a row. Are we going to do Primal, Amulet, and Standard? We definitely are going to do Primal, Amulet, and Standard. We just haven't uh, haven't got there yet, but we definitely will be doing it. Played a Desert Ramp Procession deck. Been doing well at FNM. Procession, Hour of Promise. Ooh, that is spicy. Yes, opponent gets to untap our stuff. Untap our stuff. I feel like we're getting pretty close to winning. If our opponent doesn't just keep... Um, hmm. I don't think we actually want another Legion's Landing here. It's just some 1-1s. One we already got a million 1-1s. One uh, pass the turn. Makes a bunch of servos. So you can kind of see how the deck wins. Like, this is how... This is what it does. It just grinds and grinds with 1-1s. One Opponent gets a Noiner Priest. <sighs> okay. I guess it's not that good. Better than a Fumigate. Would you do another dinosaur deck? The last list was a bit off. Jun dinosaurs would be awesome. Yeah, I'm sure we'll play dinosaurs again at some point. They're a pretty sweet tribe, so I'm sure we will be doing more dinosaurs sooner or later. Yeah, I guess we can just kill it. What does our opponent have? <laughs> Deadlands a token. The nice part about this deck is it really does shut down targeted removal. Like, our opponent is killing stuff and killing stuff actually yeah we gotta let that go and it just it doesn't matter so make some vampires with our Adanto. untap 
Zaka Zervo, Kill Anointer Priest. Everything at Nicole Bolas. I think we finally got Nicole Bolas off the table. And our opponent scoops it up. Oh my goodness. Well, our opponent put up a fight thanks to Nicole, but didn't, uh, didn't, didn't make it. I played a black-white stockpile deck at the store pre-rotation. It gets really tiring really fast. Yeah, it is ultra grindy. It is so, so grindy. Grixis Pirates. Let me see 13 Army. I think it looks pretty solid. Got a lot of... Uh, I don't know about Wanted Scoundrels. I just saw Wanted Scoundrels. Not, I'm not convinced that Wanted Scoundrels is a good idea, but otherwise, it seems like a sweet aggro pirate list. Yeah, that was a pretty solid performance for our deck. Is Blue White Approach going to get viewed on the site? I would love to see it. Um, I don't know. We might play Blue White Approach at some point. Absent token list looks good. Blue White Eternalize. Yeah, that's a really fun idea. Hey, see ya, Super. Alright, what do we got to do sideboarding here? I don't think Lost Legacy... The main thing we probably want is Duresses. And main thing we don't want is Fatal Pushes. Cast Out is probably fine. We also would like to go down Fumigates, I think. Maybe we do go up... Well, I guess Angel of Sanctions. Angel of Sanctions and Caracal, maybe? Something along those lines? I don't know about Lost Legacy. It's funny when I have Mimic on the battlefield, and I think I should cut a couple lands. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's probably fun and fine. No Sunmare in this deck. We don't really have that many sources of life gain is the problem. I think we would need more life gain sources to make it actually work. Did you see the sweet blue-white monument deck from the online PTQ? Uh, I believe so. I think someone played it against me earlier uh, today. Been tuning this deck for a week now. Can you give me some sideboard suggestions? Uh, I think that sideboard looks pretty decent. I mean, it looks like you got most of the the base is covered maybe maybe something more specifically to deal with scarab gods like ixalan's binding but otherwise looks solid are the lost legacies in the side for the scarab god how does this deck how to how to win against this deck it gets really annoying and grindy really fast yeah i'm not really sure how big of a problem the scarab god is honestly like we don't have that many creatures we have cast outs already and we just go so wide that it's actually kind of hard for the Scarab God to keep up. So I don't even know if that's like a super big concern. I'm assuming that the Lost Legacies are for approach, maybe? But I guess they could come in against Scarab Gods as well. Pony has Duress. Notice a lot of your older videos about Nani Monster, some budget magic videos and stuff. The cards were a little larger and easier to... Text was easier to read. Would it be possible to do that in upcoming videos? Uh, well, I'd have to... Whoa, another dress. I'll have to see. I think that that might be when we switch to 1080, like high def instead of 720, that it makes it look kind of smaller. So I'll have to see uh, if, that, if there's anything I can do with still being high def. Yeah, opponent's got the old school dresses. Another land for our opponent. They did take both anointed processions. Gifted Aetherborn. Well, our opponent's down to two cards, though. That is not a high number of cards. Cycle cast out. Ah, anointed priest is okay. Play the planes. Run out anointed priest. Pass the turn. Yeah, Veraska is very good in the mirror for blowing up opponents' anointed processions. Dragon Skull Summit for our opponent. Gets in with Aetherborn. Uh, what's your life swap deck? I don't know if I have seen it. Ooh, alright. 
Well, let's run out anointed procession. Number three. See if our opponent has a counter. They only got two cards. If they counter it, then we get to Caracal, so I think that's fine. Get in with Anointer Priest. Opponent Glimmers. Lost Legacy is for Scarab God versus Control or Approach. Yeah, I mean, I figured it was for Approach. I guess you can bring it in for Scarab Gods, too. Hit our opponent. What's up, Daniel? Grixis Amulet. More Duresses. Well, there goes Veraska. Good lord. Well, at least our opponent's done with Duresses. Well, almost done with Duresses. Lost Legacy. Goodness. This, this draw from our opponent. Takes our one of Karakul? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I don't know why they would name that. I mean, because we draw another card. It's not like they even make us discard it. It just goes back into our hand. Uh, duress is not exciting, but... Opponent gets in with Aetherborn. Yep. Token Makers. Planes. Well, let's duress our opponent. Field of Ruin. Play the planes, pass the turn. We actually just want to block this gifted Aetherborn, I think. The Grixis Amulet deck looks cool. I like it. Opponent. Goes attacking. Alright. Well, we'll block. Trade one Anointer Priest for two Anointer Priests. Opponent passes. If we ever draw a hidden stockpile, we'll play Deadlands. Get back Anointer Priest. The problem is if our opponent just draws into if our opponent just draws into Nicole Bolas, that's pretty bad for us. Opponent is one of the best legacy storm players on Moto. Oh, Glimpse of Randomness. I've seen that name before. Interesting. That's probably why they like Duress so much. <laughs> uh, seems like a Legacy Storm sideboard card. Uh, I think we... Hmm. I don't think it's worth cracking map here. I think I would rather hold... Oh, opponent drew Glimmer? Good lord. That's actually kind of bad for us. Storm is over. Welcome to the fishbowl. Oh, never mind. <laughs> What's up, Storm? Uh, if I say amulet, people get mad at me, so I don't say that anymore. Gets in with Gifted Etherboard. Yep. Opponents back up to three cards in hand. They found something else? Gonti. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Come on, deck. Ah. Is it me or Sander just operating with a very small card pool? Uh, Standard does have a very... Wow. More card draw. Come on, deck. Hmm. I mean, I guess we play the Legion's Landing. Pass the turn. Uh, now our opponent can draw so many cards, though. I have not seen PV uh, DDR's video on the world's meta. I saw that it existed, but I haven't watched it yet. Yes, I always say something wrong. I say I have been saying Conquestador, which is apparently incorrect. Bonet, another gifted Aetherborn. Yep. And passes. Hidden stockpile? Legion's landing. <sighs> How do we do this? I think we got to attack and flip. I think that's our best bet. Attack, attack, attack. Flip Legion's landing. 
opponent does get to kill something of ours. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Okay. Deadlands, gifted Etherborn. Play Legion's Landing. Pass the turd. I'm just so worried that they're gonna draw Nicole Bolas and then we're then we're in trouble. They actually have like defenses up now. Took non budget wildfire to F and M for Ode. Awesome. Yeah, Blood Moon is super helpful. Take a look at this modern deck. Five color lost oromancers? Whoo! That is some spice. Alright, opponent's going to kill our land. I guess we'll get our forest. We still do have Veraskas in our deck. Are we going to... Oh, I don't want to lose to this deck. Morgantes. Vance's Blasting Cannons. Goodness. Man, we just... We need, we need a hidden stockpile. That's what we really need. Ooh. Hmm. Well, Angel of Sanctions, what do we get rid of is the question. That's a actually a big question. What do we take? Hey, see ya, Olga. Have a good night. Nickel. Nickel Bolus. I don't think it's pronounced like that. <laughs> Nickel. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, happy birthday! Oh, it was your birthday on. I couldn't see the rest of it. What do we hit here? They have so much card advantage, it probably doesn't matter. Alright, we'll take Etherborn. Yep. And I think we actually attack with everything to flip again. We do lose our Anointer Priest, but hit our opponent, gain some life. Timing out is definitely a real problem with this deck. Hey, thank you, Corganix. How goes it tonight? You check out the MTG Arena stream yesterday. What did you think? I caught the... I missed the beginning of it, but I caught the second half of it. I mean... Yeah? I think it looks good for what they're going for. Like, there's... Yeah, my face is good, Jay Zoller. If there's anything that will make me do the face cam thing, it'll be so you can see my face when I say nickel. Nickel bowl ass and amulet. Oh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, yep. Let me take a look, you're a rightful king. Opponents, drawn cards, drawn cards. Hopefully if our angel dies, it does not die to Veraska's Contempt. Opponent. Passing. Passing. Ooh, cast out's actually pretty sweet. Well, let's get in with our angel. Hit our opponent. What are... Oh, opponent got a field... Oh, they exiled a field of ruin. That's good news. And I think we'll just pass the turn. I mean, if our opponent's going to draw themselves to death with Bloodfast, I think that's fine. Down to... Wait. They didn't lose life. Okay. They did? Just... Are they losing life to that Bloodfest? Should have taken the enchantment to get back after the angel dies. Opponent exiles negate. Not a good one to hit with Vance's Blasting Cannons, especially. I can say Fajita. <laughs> Opponent getting in with Gonti. Probably means they drew a sweeper. Man, our opponent has drawn all their sideboard cards, and it feels kind of like we're still winning.
Hour of Devastation, sure. Real Maximum, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I did not find out what happened. Lost Legacy. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming they're not going to name Cast Out. They're probably naming Angel of Sanctions, I would guess. Uh, I did not find out what happened on Tuesday, although I turned down the bitrate a little bit for this stream, so we'll see. Hopefully that makes a difference. Makesift, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I don't think... Oh, they take the hidden stockpiles. Okay. Well, one, two, three... Make some vampires. Untap. Well, now we might as well crack this, because we don't have hidden stockpiles left. So now we might as well thin our deck. Get a planes. Ooh, that's a good one. Duress our opponent. Wow, our opponent's going deep. Our opponent's going so deep. Dark Intimations, Sweltering Suns, another Blood Feast. <laughs> we were saving the map to trigger revolt. What does this do? Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, then discards a card. You return a creature or planeswalker, draw a card. Well, I guess we just take Sweltering Suns, I would assume. I don't think this is good enough. Yeah, we'll take Sweltering Suns. And then we get back our Angel of Sanctions. Double Angel of Sanctions. Double Embalm. Get rid of Gifted Aetherborn. Get rid of Vance's Blasting Cannons. We're kind of somewhat okay with our opponent continuing to pay life. Hit our opponent. 4-2. Down to 10. We're actually pretty close to closing this out. I think we got a new donation, but I haven't actually seen it pop up. Or did I, did I miss it? Oh boy, did I miss a donation? I heard the sound effect. Um, let me look it up on Streamlabs if I missed it. So hit our opponent. Play the planes. Pass the turn. $5 donation from Helichrome says, You say amulet like you say American or I am. I amulet? I amulet. That, really? Am, amulet. Eh, I like my pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, though. We potentially have lethal next turn. Depending on what our opponent... Well, no, I don't think we have lethal next turn. Maybe, I guess, if our opponent goes drawing like crazy. Because they can fire off their... <laughs> their Nicole Bolas. Nickel Bolas sorcery. We actually played Panharmonic on deck on stream a couple of streams ago. Is there a matchup analysis for this deck anywhere online? That's a good question. I'm sure we'll play more... Um, I'm sure we'll play more Panharmonicon decks, too, because I love Panharmonicon. Definitely one of my favorite cards. Ponic Gontis. Yup. Well, Angels fly over Gonti. Yeah, we'll probably have to do another Phonics video at some point. Nickel. Nickel Bolus. <laughs> uh... Emma Handy has an article on it, so there sounds like there's an article on SCG about this deck if you're looking for it. This is game two of match one. This deck does not play quick matches, so Momir not seeming super likely tonight. The Scorpion God, all right, sure. Opponent passes. Oh, oh, does this? Oh, we still don't win, do we? We hit our opponent to two? Wait, do we win? One, two, three, four. Oh, I think we do. I think that's Xaxes. Play Chef at Dunes. One, two, three, four, five. Sack it. Pump the dorks. Cast out... the scorpion god and this should do it we got there 
Exaxes? With the angels? Double angel of sanctions? From anointed procession? I think I think that's gonna do it. Opponent blocks and takes ten. Do we get there? Whoo! There we go. That uh that was pretty good for Abs and Tokens. That was a a pretty good start for the deck. 2-0 over a crazy control deck. That was a crazy build of control. I mean, Dark Intimations is not a card you norm normally see floating around in control decks. Get the Taylor. All right, Taylor or Martin. I, so far, that's actually been pretty mixed, the feelings on which one we should get between Taylor's... Which one I should get between Taylor and Martin. So, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, our opponent's brew was definitely spicy. Let me see the life swap deck, Alana. Ooh. Uh, that looks pretty fun. Definitely uh, has lots of sweet shenanigans. Some nice life draining. Vampires up theme. Uh, it looks really fun. Looks like it would be a good against the odds style of deck. Axis of Mortality is a really sweet card. Alright, we get to play first. Thank you, Core Gone. Uh, we'll keep this. I think that was even a slower matchup than some other ones probably will be because it was control after all. Alright, Chef at Dunes, go. I guess maybe we should have led on Deadlands in case we wanted to kill something with Fatal Push. Yeah, we definitely need to do Notion Thief at some point. Attune with Aether for our opponent. How is opponent playing the black and red legendary enchantments, but not the blue one? Yeah, I don't know. That seems like the blue one would be where you'd want to be with that deck. But, um, yeah, run out Deadlands. Run out Anointer Priest. Oh, yeah, we got to pay some life. Oops. Run out Anointer Priest with our incredibly painful mana base. We did, we beat through the Nicole Bolas. I don't know if you saw my tweet, but I've opened over 90 packs and only opened one Siren Storm Tamer. That is incredibly against the odds. <laughs> Someone has to try Axis of Mortality, Gideon Tribal, and Standard to go to negative life. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome against the odds deck. Man, opponent, tune with Ether flooded. Ooh, start finish. Well, I think we gotta play Renegade map here. Over making tokens. Play the forest. Get in with Anointer Priest. Renegade map guarantees we can get down Anointed, uh, Anointed Procession next turn if we want to. I don't know which token build is better. Someone asked earlier. I'm actually not sure. I think... I mean, they're, Abzan is the more popular of the two at the moment. Hmm... Well, opponent's pummeling, so maybe we don't get down Anointed Procession. Hidden Stockpile. Ooh, that makes that makes our choice easy. Crack Renegade Map. Get a Swamp. Play the Swamp. Fatal Push. Pummeler. And also run out Hidden Stockpile. Start the fun. Get the blockers going. Whiteback token shell using treasures in Marionette Master. Ooh. Opponent has Aetherub. Marionette Master probably does speed up the, the actual killing a bit, I would assume. Now I think we upkeep Scry. If we upkeep Scry into a land... Then we get double... Ugh, it's a tap land. All right. Well, we'll keep it. Play Concealed Courtyard. Pass the turn. Was hoping to hit an untap land there for the... Then we could have really started going. They may have ways to give their stuff trample. It's definitely possible that there's like Invigorated Rampage or something. Oh, thank you, Six Bucks... Uh, six Bucks Sinel. Opponent goes attacking. Well, let's jump. Make them have a trample card. We can flash in our start to finish. Aye. All the bristling hydras. Well, let's start. Gain a bit of life. 
Some Yamahas are very good. Yeah, I've played Taylors and Martins before. There definitely are good guitars of other brands, but I, I've i played both Taylors and Martins, and I know I like them. Cycle Smurf for the 12th month in a row. It has been an entire year, Cycle Smurf. Thank you so much for the resub and the 12-year resub. Have you tried Dead Eye Junless yet? I remember you mentioning you wanted to test it. I haven't had a chance to, a chance to test it yet, but it does look super sweet. So I still am hoping to play it at some point. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Ooh, treasure map. Oh, treasure map. Can we even keep you, treasure map? So much card advantage. I think we got to put it to the bottom. Ooh, cast out. All right, well, definitely running out anointed procession. Doubling up our token fun. Pass the turn. We gotta make sure we don't just die to a ton of horrible pump spells. Anointer Priest life gain is helping. But that's what I... I don't think there's a good double strike spell. So just giving Trample is probably not enough. Would be awesome to see here some guitar playing too. Ooh, yeah. I probably will not get the, the world's most expensive Taylor Martin. I know that there's some. They go up to, oh, man, four or $5,000. And I'm sure there's some that are even more expensive, but probably not going to go to that price range. Uh, all right. So untap, upkeep. Maybe we just, well, all right, upkeep scry with the servo. Tasty Chops, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Sunscourge Champion. Well, let's just pass. Keep doing what we're doing. Pony has a million and a half energy. Leave up our cast out here to be able to get this pummeler if need be. Any love for the Gibson J45? I have not played as many Gibson acoustics. I've played lots of Taylors and Martins. I know Gibsons are good guitars. I've played uh, Gibson electrics, but I haven't really played Gibson acoustics. And we just might be dead to, to this pummeler. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. This is a sad way for us to die. Yes, pummeler gets huge. Really? Really? I mean, they do have to have Blossoming Defense or Negate, but they probably do. So, cast a cast out? Please? Have nothing? Yeah, opponent's got it all. Yeah, there's, there's uh, not much we can do about that in the whole wide world. Oh, goodness. That was not fun. Huh. Uh, may, this might just be an absolutely horrible matchup. Will I do a top 10 Ixalan sleepers like I did for Amoncat? I might end up doing an article like that. I've definitely been very impressed with Treasure Map. That's one of the sleepers that I definitely like. I don't know if we can beat this deck. I mean, we can hope they don't have it, but we do not line up with what they are doing at all. Like, we're great at chump blocking, but, uh, but we are not very good at chump blocking a huge trampling ugh, infect creature, essentially. Probably common knowledge at this point, but I found my Walmart had boosters for three thirty-three. Ooh, that's a pretty good deal for Walmart. That's like almost a dollar cheaper. Uh, why don't you send me an email, Gooly? Uh, Saffron Olive at MTGGoldfish.com. Yeah, Doomfall's a good option. Well, what do we bring in for this if anything i mean we have fatal pushes that's a good one we have cast outs that's a good one we have blockers if they don't have trample 
I guess we could try to bring in duresses, but they don't have that many spells. Like, if we bring in duresses, we're going to have to take out other stuff, and then it's pretty easy to just die to Voltaic Brawlers and stuff like that. I'm not sure, uh... I'm not sure. Yeah, Solemnity is obviously a good option. I mean, we got Bantu's Last Reckoning, I guess. I don't know about Duress. Well, what do we even go down for that, though, is the other thing. Like, what are we... What's bad that we're taking out here? I guess we can go down Sun Scourge Champion, although that actually seems good against some of their other stuff. I guess we can go up to Bantu's Last Reckoning. Well, then we, I guess we got to go down cast outs. Cast out, cast out. Veraska. And I guess maybe the start to finish if we're going to go up dresses. All right, we can try that. I don't know. I just, I feel like duress is going to whiff a lot in this matchup. I have not watched the new episodes of Curve Your Enthusiasm yet. I'm sure I will soon, though, because I really like Curve Your Enthusiasm. Well, we got a duress. Yes, and we have our one single forest in our entire deck. Got a ship. Well, here's our test case. How, how good slash bad is duress in the matchup? Anointer Priest. It is a creature to go with Legion's Landing. Yeah, I was skeptical of duress, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. We'll give it a shot. Oh, Safrat Olive at mtggoldfish.com. You can email me. So play concealed courtyard. Get down Legion's Landing. Pass the turn. No reason to dress on turn one. Lost Legacy can't actually deal with Pummeler, though. Right? Because it's non-artifacts. $2 donation from 6 bucks an L. Martin, uh... Alright, let me, let me see what this says. Martin Road Series, DRS-1, Dreadnought, or the Yamaha FGX 720SC. I have both, and I love them. Can we jam toge together sometime? Seth, love me. Well, maybe we, will, uh, maybe we will jam together sometime. But thank you for the guitar suggestions. Also, thank you for the donation. Definitely appreciate it. Um, Alright, so play the planes. Duress our opponent. They better have non-creature spells. Ooh, okay, they do. They have only non-creature spells. A million non-creature spells. Oh, my goodness. So, what do we take? What do we take here? Dream Stealer could be a sideboard option. Also, the Aftermath card that makes people discard could be good. Driven to... Driven... Driven something... All right, I admit it. I'm glad we, I'm glad we bought in, brought in our duresses. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. All right, we'll take defense. Play renegade map. Get in for one. I mean, if they want to negate our next duress, I'm okay with that. There is an ether hub, so we can see our opponent's hand here. They played ether hub. And passes. We get... Ooh, stockpile. That's actually pretty good. So, duress our opponent. See if they negate. Alright. Now I think we gotta... Oh, I really want to resolve this stockpile. I think we take... I think we take the negate so we can stockpile... Yeah, I think we have to. So we just got to be aware of what they have in hand. Take the negate, sack renegade map. This lets us start scrying to find more action. Take the swamp, play the swamp. 
play hidden stockpile. I think the Esper version of the deck looks pretty sweet too. I mean, I'm I think Scarab God is just like the best card in standard, so it doesn't take much for me to uh, want to play that deck. All right, opponent draws Sanctum. Oh, they had Sanctum. So we know three of the cards in their hand. The other thing is, if we time things right with this cast out, we should be able to hopefully deal with the problem. We draw a land, get in with both, hit our opponent. Sack the servo, scry. Ooh, I think fumigate to the bottom for now. Play chef at dunes, pass the turn. We're not playing Scarab God tonight. <laughs> hey, I'm doing well, CTH. How are you tonight? Opponent. Bristles. Oh, Mr. Bristles. Mr. Bristles. It is pretty annoying. Uh, well, we tried to scry this to the bottom, but failed. Well, sack a servo. Hmm. I guess we put that to the top. Pass the turn. Yeah, we don't have too many cats. We haven't played that much Scarab God, really. Well, we didn't put we didn't put Fumigate to the bottom. Ha ha! <laughs> we only tried, tried and failed. Voltaic Brawler for our opponent. So we know most of their hand. I believe they have one unknown card. Those attacking. So let's cycle cast out because we know we want Anointed Procession. Sack the Servo to Scry. Keep the Swamp on top. Opponent passes. So draw the Swamp. Play the Swamp. Run out Anointed Procession. Sack the Vampire. Uh, now we'll put the land to the bottom. Pass the turn. Two servos. Just managed to take down tokens with a slightly slightly upgraded version of the budget magic favorable pirates. Yeah, that deck was really fun. Opponent getting frisky with the dorks. Yep. Well, I think we got to chump bristles. See when our opponent goes with the trample plan. It might be getting close to Fumigate time. There's Rampage. Yup. Yeah, I think we're just going to Fumigate next turn. Take a bunch of damage down to 12. Opponent passes. Fatal Push. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. Fumigate. We get some servos at the end step. Here's a deck I've been working on. Have it built and been playing it a lot. Well, let me see. Six bucks. Grix's creativity, eh? Ooh, opponent's got nothing. That's good news. Well, let's upkeep Scry. Now things are taking a turn in our favor. If Nerd Deadlands to the bottom. Ugh, more lands. Get in with our servo. Pass the turn. I guess that's the downside of playing so many pump spells, is sometimes you just get pump spell flooded. Search for his cont is so good. 10th in a 46-man IQ with free win red. Awesome! That's super exciting. And our opponent scoops it up. Well, that's about as good as it goes. Um, hmm, well, 
Well, what do we do here? I guess the dresses are actually good. So we should probably keep them. L I'm known as the thickness at your local F and M. I've never heard that one before. Are we changing anything? I mean, I guess we can just keep it like this. Eh, let's run it back. I mean, Veraska's our best way to actually close out the game. The salt I got. Yeah, that looks fun. It's like, it looks, reminds me of salt I energy with the scarab god. Looks pretty powerful. I'm not cutting, I'm not cutting Veraska. Veraska's the whole reason we're playing this deck is to Veraska people. <laughs> Without that, all we're doing is making one ones. Even if it's wrong, I still want to, I still want to play Veraska because Veraska's sweet. Eh, Lily comes down a bit earlier, and it actually can wrath our opponent's board through the hexproof creatures if we ultimate it, and we can chump block pretty well, so it seems like a good way to kill hexproof creatures, or a way, maybe not a good way, but it is, it is a way to kill hexproof creatures. Yeah, we'll just run it like this. Yes, we're keeping pirate mom. Uh, okay. No duresses, but I think this is fine. Oh, they have fling as well. Well, it's a really good thing we brought in duresses if they're also flinging us. We'll keep. So we can turn one map, turn two hidden stockpile sack map on turn three. Opponent play sanctum. I guess we don't need our upkeep stop at the moment. So courtyard and renegade map. Pass the turn. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? A tune with ether. Ooh, that is a slow start from our opponent. Which is good news for us. I have not seen anyone running Aven Wind Guide. Another attune. Opponents getting their energy on. Well, Conceal Courtyard number two. Run out stockpile. Crack Renegade map. Get our forest. Pass the turn. Start servoing. Yeah, I'm glad that Gideon is not in the deck. Or in the format. Gideon was in standard for... Wow! Opponent is so flooded! They mulligan into just all the attunes. They didn't even cast one turn one. I think we're just going to upkeep Scry here. With our servo. Cast out to the top. Play the forest. Run out renegade map. Pass the turn. Ooh, I like the reanimator deck. That looks fun. Hey, what's going on, Moto Shobo? Herbering for the second month in a row. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Uh, what's up, Psych Panther? How goes it? Ugh, the nightmare. The nightmare has arrived. Pummels. Mr. Pummels. All right, we get something good. Anointer Priest. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, how do we not die to Pummeler? All right, chat. How do we do this? So we can do the modern infect trick 
and just cast out right now to make our opponent use the Blossoming Defense if they have it. We can crack the map to get a servo. We should do that. Ooh, <laughs> that is a risky Madcap Experiment deck. Uh, seems like a good chance of just killing yourself with Madcap Experiment, with the damage part of it. That is super spicy. So just main phase it, you think? Uh, all right. I guess that makes sense. If our opponent just has it all, they have it all. Cast out. Ooh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. We survived. We passed. We passed the test. Crack our map. Grab a swamp. Whoo. Oh, lordy. What's up, Mean Mean Pork? We're alive! We're alive, and we're almost a pirate mom and friends. Liliana, zombie mom? <laughs> zombie mom and pirate mom? Not another pummels. All right, serving in the conduit. Do not care. You can serve into the conduit all day long. Well, play Deadlands. Deadlands is actually a pretty good answer to Pummeler if they don't have Blossoming Defense. Zombie Mom? Mom number one? Make a zombie. With Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Abs and Moms. That is kind of the name of the deck. Island for our opponent. Oh, no! No! It's another Pummels. Actually, Pirate Mom! Pirate Mom to save the day! Are we... D no! You gotta be kidding! No, this is... Oh, my goodness. Unreal. Unreal! Oh my... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Zappa, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Well, got out janked on that one by quite a bit. Good God. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Nothing we can do. All right. Well, that's a, that's a thing. Wow. Fair enough. We got flung. We got flung hard. Oh man, energy is such a horrible mechanic. I hope that when they write their like state of the year article, hopefully, did that come out already about Kaladash? It probably did. But I hope it just apologizes for making energy, period. <laughs> just, oops, sorry everyone. We shouldn't have made that a mechanic. Buffy, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Bomb at Courier? Are we playing Mardu Vehicles? It's just too good. Wizards just, they went a little, a little overboard with their energy plan. Uh, Concealed Courtyard. I guess we'll leave up Fatal Push here. Pass the turn. Yeah, we only got a year until dinosaurs are playable. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm hopeful we can make them work before that, but it would be sad if we had to wait all the way till next rotation. I mean, Pummeler itself is a great, uh, is a good, it's annoying deck to lose to, but it is a good kind of deck to have in standard, 
because it is a great budget entry option into the format for people. So I don't think that the Pummeler deck in specific is a is an issue. I just think the energy in general was pushed a little too hard. How long do you normally wait for a set to come out on Magic Online before you buy the cards that you think will be useful? Um, normally, if you wait a month, or not, on Moto it usually happens even sooner. Like, two weeks to a month, you're usually pretty good. Opponent passes. Ruin Raider is annoying. We draw land. Ugh. Well, Evolving Wilds go. Opponent's going to get to start drawing extra cards with this Ruin Raider. Are they just playing Mardu Aggro? What is, what is this deck we are getting killed by? Yeah, I think that's the bigger picture reason why I don't like energy, is it just... It really narrows down the cards you can play in your deck. Because if you're going to play... Oh, no. If you're going to play any energy cards, you just got to play all other energy cards. Unlicensed Disintegration and a land. We will keep drawing lands. Ugh. Well, opponent gets to draw a million cards. Man, this feels like this should be such a good matchup, but this sand has been super slow for the matchup. Energy is a, oh man, it's a, like a resource system based mechanic that they had in Kaladesh block. Nearly same gym for the 12th month in a row, a full year of awesome jank. Keep up the good work, Seth. Well, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Actually, definitely a resubscriber. Bonded Courier getting in. Pona hits us. Well, we do get to fumigate, hopefully. Whether or not that's enough here. Opponent draws Toolcraft Exemplar. Down to eight. Renegade map. Well, I mean, all we can do is fumigate. Clear the board. Jeez, our opponent drew so many cards off Ruin Raiders. A really insane amount of cards. I was thinking about getting an account on Modo. Do I need to wait until Arena comes out? Um, I don't think you need to wait. I think we are a long way away from Arena, so I think that it makes sense to to go ahead and do the Magic Online thing. All right, opponent plays Toolcraft. Well, let's untap. We know they have unlicensed disintegration. We get a cast out. Hmm. What do we do now? Not really sure what the solution to this is. I stopped buying modern staples on Moto thanks to Arena. Yeah, I mean, that's my take on it. Arena seems to be a year or two away from coming out, as far as wide release. And then after that, as far as what Arena does, it'll be specifically focused on standards. So, a good budget laptop for Moto. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I guess we can just leave up Cast Out for now. The problem with, like, playing and making a token is... It's pretty easy for us to get blown out by the unlicensed disintegration we know our opponent will have. I did hear that Arena will have real MTG-style drafts, which is super sweet. That was one of the things I was wondering about. I mean, the big thing... I watched most of the stream yesterday. I missed the beginning of it. But the big thing is the economy. That's, I think, the last big question that we're all waiting on. Hmm... Well, I guess we crack for a land. Might as well keep hitting our mana. Grab a swamp. Play the swamp. One, two, three, four, five. We're still a bit away from playing Liliana and leaving up. <laughs> Alright, let's just play Legion's Landing, I think. Legion's Landing, leave up, cast out, pass the turn. They did say it wouldn't be tradable. What do you think about...
about Explorer? Is it worth building for a standard FNM deck? Uh, I think you can build like a fun, casual, like a fun semi-competitive deck. Casual is probably not the right word. But I think you can build a fun semi-competitive deck. Well, we're just going to cast out the scrap heap. Which keeps Toolcraft from triggering. Well, we know they have unlicensed disintegration. A lot of our decision making has been based around this unlicensed disintegration. And not wanting to get blown out by it. Star Candy! Welcome to the fishbowl for the second month in a row. Ooh, wow. Alright, well there goes the disintegration. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Wow. Well, Lily hopefully makes a bunch of tutus, but yeah. Yeah, they've been doing arena streams like almost weekly. Uh, how much does a draft cost on Moto? That's a complicated question. So opponent gets back Scrap Heap, gets to get in with Toolcraft. I think we'll chump here. Stay at 11. Draw more cast outs. Well, crack Renegade map. Get a planes. Play the planes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. Play Veraska. Take up. Make a pirate. If our opponent has a second disintegration, then they can kill our Veraska, and I would be somewhat sad. So, on Modo, it's it's more complicated than it sounds. The upfront cost is something like 12-ish dollars, 12 to 14 dollars. But the amount of money you actually spend is, I don't know, I think if you win half your games, like, completely average just 50 50 it ends up being between three and four dollars a draft depending on your on your uh format and then if you're playing if you win 60 percent of your games you make money basically so the math is more complicated than because for example in like hearthstone it's two dollars a draft but that's two dollars just disappears forever because you don't the cards aren't really worth anything so while the upfront cost of moto is certainly high if you look at the all or the total cost it's actually cheaper than it kind of sounds opponent does have it so they are going to be able to kill veraska ugh whoo those ruin raiders really did us in when you do an MTG Arena stream, Matches is going to make a deck to play against you that has the most animations possible. Seems like every deck will have a lot of animations. Ooh, Sun Scourge. Well, I guess we can just Sun Scourge. Cast Sun Scourge Champion. Gain a couple life. Pass the turn. Leave up our cast out. Well, I mean, wait, is that possible, Jay Zoller? Because someone has to win, someone has to win every round. So overall, if you looked at every Moto player, every, like, and average it out, everyone would be 50-50. I guess discounting things like people dropping from events or something, but in theory, the program-wide win rate would be 50 percent all right let's cast cast out go after the scrounger again are they just gonna keep killing their own scrounger over and over uh, they sacked the scrounger. Uh, maybe I... Yeah, that was a mistake. Definitely should have done that differently. And just hit another creature. 
Oops. Pumps artifact. Yeah, I should have done that differently. And why? Oh, we can't block. Okay. Well, play Anointer Priest. Play Liliana. Make a token, gain some life. It's those Ruin Raiders. Those Ruin Raiders card draw really did us in. Opponent drew like five extra cards before we... We just did nothing in the early game this game. We didn't draw any of our combo pieces. Did nothing in the early game. And, uh, yeah. And our opponent, jeez, so many lands. Red, 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 red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we literally just died to them pumping the Thopter. One, two. They don't have any. They have exactly two energy. They're playing Ether Hubs with no energy. I can't believe this is working out, but it is, and we're just, we're quite literally dead. Yeah, I don't know if Twitch is being laggy. A couple people have said that. I I don't know. We haven't crashed or anything, so I don't know if it's Twitch or what, but I don't know. Okay. makes. I guess our opponent's not killing us? Or killing us in a different roundabout way? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, this seems like the hard way to do it, but I guess it actually works. Eh, our draw was just super slow for being against uh, an aggro deck. It was just a bit too slow. All right, opponent figured it out. I don't know why. I mean, red, 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 red. Eh, maybe they couldn't win by just pumping, but they got there. All right, on to sideboarding. Uh, yeah, what do we do? Do to not lose to Mardu vehicles. Is it hard to stream MTG or pretty well known? Can't your opponent just look at your stream to get an advantage? Oh, ah, yeah, I'm sure that happens some amount of the time. Uh, quote. So, sideboarding Mardu vehicles, what are we supposed to do here? Um, authority? They don't really have any haste creatures, do they? I mean, I guess the better question is, what do we not want in this matchup? Like, what are we actually taking out? I mean, I guess we can cut, like, Liliana? Is Authority actually good in this matchup? I mean, maybe it is. I mean, they gotta be playing vehicles. I don't know why else... I mean, I guess they could just be aggro. I'm sure they have vehicles, though. Yeah, we can bring in the Champion. We could bring in Regal Karakul. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Yeah, Caracol's probably fine. Um, maybe go down a cast out? 
Actually, you probably need that to kill vehicles. Well, what one other card are we cutting? I think we just got to get a a bit more aggressive of a start. Maybe we just got to go down the one treasure map. All right, we'll try it like that. I think we just kept too slow of a hand for the matchup. We didn't know they were playing something so aggro. All right, we get to play first. All right, we got... I mean, we got the combo hand. It's a... It's a bit land light, but we have all of our combo pieces. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just evolving wilds past the turn. Uh, I don't know, Justin. Twitch is pretty weird sometimes. Pona does not have a one drop which is nice. So get a Swamp. Play the Plains. I think we just Renegade Map and Legion's Landing here. And then next turn we can Hidden Stockpile Trigger. There's the Heart of Kirin. Well, we'll be able to cast out that eventually. Ooh, we draw a land... So get in with our vampire, gain a life, run out hidden stockpile, crack renegade map, grab a planes, play the planes, pass the turn. Things are shaping up pretty good here. Gonna have to watch this on the replay, think the leg is too much, probably my and need to sleep anyway. Been awake since Monday, goodness Justin. And, okay, I guess our opponent scoops it up. <laughs> uh that was that was easy. Yeah, let's do that again. That went about as good as it could. The best grilled cheese I ever had? I don't actually remember the best grilled cheese I ever have. Keep getting kicked off Twitch? Huh. I mean I've I've had grilled cheese before. This thing, I have no idea why our opponent scooped there. Unless they just, like, didn't have lands or something. Opponent duresses. We do need white mana, but... Probably Taco Bell, Viramit. <laughs> I don't need too much Mexican food. White mana? No. White card. Pass the turn. I have no idea why our opponent scooped there. Opponent plays a Swamp. Heart of Kirin. White mana? White mana! Alright. Get down, Anointer Priest. Pass the turn. This deck is really fun. I think Verasco will come down eventually. I don't know if it's... I don't know how long it'll take, but it definitely will come down eventually. Man, if we get some token producers with double Anointed Priest, or if we just get to this Karakul, life is going to be super good. Yep, hard of curing. Gonna get frisky. Yep. Down to 16. So play the forest. Run out Anointer Priest number two. And pass the turn. Oh, we're almost to the cat. The cat that is going to gain us a lot of life. Tap land for our opponent. We can even kill the heart of Kirin. Opponent. Are they going to attack? I don't think we can kill this. Alright, they attack and exert. So we're... Uh, yeah, we're going to take it. We got to save this for Heart of Kira. Down to 12. Opponent passes. We just draw planes. Well, play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Yes, I'll have to try good tacos sometime. I don't eat it that much Mexican food, really. I probably should eat more. Opponent has Disintegration. Down to 9. Uh-oh. Opponent plays a land. Man, if they have, like, Glory Bringer...
Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! We're gonna lose to this jank! Wow! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> oh man. Well, so much for the caracal idea. Not looking too good. So what outs do we even have here? We got to kill the glory bringer or we got to kill the glory bringer and well this is a standard deck from last season that lost its three best cards probably but yeah glory bringer is still insane so i think we just got to kill glory bringer Or not or glory bound initiate. Yeah. Kill glory bound initiate. Drop to five. We gotta hope they don't have a crew member, essentially. Legion's landing. So we get back anointer priest. We gain two. Legion's landing. Gain two. Hmm. What do we... Uh... Well, run out Caracal. We gotta hope they don't have anything to crew with. Go up to seven. Get in with Anointer Priest. Glorybringer's quite a magic card, that's for sure. Does our opponent have anything else? They do, of course. Wow. Alright. Well, good draw, Mardu Vehicles. Can't do anything about that. I mean, if we shrink the Glorybringer, then they attack for two with the Glorybringer, play another creature... And we die. Whoo! Alright. Well, good good hand, good hand. I have never had uh I have never had much luck playing these token decks. They seem sweet, but we played one a while ago too when they first came out, like last standard or the standard before, and I don't understand uh, why people how people do well with them. They look they look sweet, and other people obviously have success with them, but for some reason... Our opponent knew about Fatal Push. They weren't going to... They wouldn't have run their... Uh, they wouldn't have run their uh, Heart of Cure into the Fatal Push, I don't think. Like, we took four damage to get down Anointer Priest, but... Um, which maybe that part was incorrect, but I don't think we would have killed Heart of Kirin. I, I don't think our opponent would have attacked into the fatal push that they knew about. Alright, so we gotta win these last two to scrape out our winning record. Two more matches with Tilgids. Cutthroat was a big loss for this deck. Yeah, I guess Cutthroat's w uh, pretty important, pretty good. All right, I mean, I guess this is fine. Yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I know people have success with it. Like, other people do well with it. I just, for some reason, whenever I try it, I never am able to... Maybe I'm just playing it wrong somehow. I don't know exactly, like, what I'm doing wrong, but for some reason, I just never... Uh, Never have success with it. Instead of Fatal Pushing the Heart, you took four from the Heart, then another six from Unlicensed Disintegration. There is... Servant of the Conduit. For our opponent. Looks like another energy deck of some kind. 
Not exactly sure what kind. Well, play Chef at Dunes. Get down our... Hmm. I think just hidden stockpile here. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can start gaining life with Anointer Priest. Opponent straight green red? Is this another Pummeler deck? Are we going to get pummeled twice in the same stream? Ugh, turn three Bristling Hydra. Yep. Well, let the chump blocking begin. Anointer Procession, so we're drawing our combo pieces. Play Anointer Priest. Play Evolving Wilds. Crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Planes. Pass the turn. Get a Zervo. Yeah, Scarab God seems pretty sweet. I mean, there is like a Esper build of this as well. That uses Scarab God. If we get flung again... Oh, God. Oh, Lord Almighty. Okay. So, like, what, is our, what does our deck do about this? Like, what... Like, what a... We're playing Anointer Priest and Hidden Stockpiles. Like, wh uh, literally, what do we do? Uh... Um, hmm. So we just... Do we take this? Take this... Upkeep, scry, servo, looking for a land, play another anointer priest? Is that all we can do? Alright. So, we take 8, down to 11, stop on our upkeep, scry on our upkeep, Sack our servo. See if we can hit a land. Or something else relevant. Uh, fatal push doesn't count. Can't kill Bristling Hydra. Yeah, to the bottom. Evolving Wilds. So... Run out Anointer Priest? I guess? Run out Anointer Priest, play Evolving Wilds. I mean, we can... Next turn, we can start making double tokens, potentially. Yeah, Scarab God is super expensive. That is for sure. Hey, thank you, that one dude. Second stockpile is better. I mean, it gets us an extra servo. Opponent plays another forest off the Attune. Goes to combat. Hits us, hits us. I mean, I guess we got a chump now. Or attempt to. Yeah, Scarab God's gone pretty crazy. MJ Goins, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. So down to nine. I mean, I guess we could draw cast out or fume mail. We can't even. Oh my goodness. Whoa! All right. Well. This is quite the hand, as far as playing big things.
Yeah, I think we might just be out of outs now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Even drawing cast out, I don't think is good enough. Scarab God sees a little bit of play in modern. Oh, we don't really have free chumps, though. Because we don't have mana. Hey, see a Hebrew Hebrew hammer. All right, play stockpile. Play Renegade Map. Zack and Anointer Priest. We get to scry. Yeah, I mean, this is all we can do. <sighs> Alright. Fumigate on top. We'll see. I mean, that is kind of an out to the craziest start imaginable. Torzen, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Six to seven main deck sweepers. That's a lot of sweepers. I think we only have three sweepers. I think we have three fumigates and a Bantu's Last Reckoning in the sideboard. Opponent getting in with everything, exerting the glory bringer. Killing the Anointer Priest. Well, chump and chump. Do we have a settle in our sideboard? No settles anywhere in our deck. <laughs> oh, yep. And, uh, game? Game and a half. I really think this is a incredibly bad matchup for us. That is, this is, I mean, maybe it's partly that I never win with this deck, but it seems like the Pummeler deck is just an absolutely horrible matchup. It just totally trumps what this deck is trying to do as far as go wide and chump block for infinity. It just absolutely... The pump spells and pummelers and trample and stuff just completely goes over uh, over the top of what we're trying to do. I don't think you can bring in Lost Legacy here. What are you going to Lost Legacy? In invigorating Rampage? <laughs> uh, just those words sound absurd coming out of my mouth. I can't imagine that that's the thing you want to do. Yeah, it seems like just a super hard matchup. Uh, so, I mean, I guess we can bring in duresses, but then we... I mean, we bring in Bantu's Last Reckoning. The best hate bear deck in modern, probably like Eldrazi in Taxes is probably the best. Alright, what are we going down? I guess we gotta cut treasure map. Um, cut. We have three fumigates in this deck. I don't think we can. I mean, what are we going down to bring in all those cards? Is the thing. We also, I mean, we gotta win the game somehow. So we're gonna just go down our planeswalkers and. Well, I mean, we kind of have 26 lands when you consider the four Renegade maps are lands, essentially. 
So we actually have a lot of lands. I mean, the easiest way we lose to this deck is the pump spells. I don't think authority does much here. I mean, it gives us incidental life gain, but we already have a lot of incidental life gain. It doesn't really stop anything. I think you basically only... I think I would basically only ever bring in authority. I don't think we can actually cut the land. I think we want the land in the deck, even though it's a forest, but... I uh, got a Paradox Engine deck waiting to break the standard meta. Ooh, that sounds awesome, Metal Monk. Um, alright. We got Anointer Priest. We have no combo pieces. I don't think we can remove the forest because we actually... We need the lands, even if it's off color. We just gotta make sure we have enough lands in our deck to cast our spells. Uh, Green-White has just kind of gotten overrun by White-Black, I think. The Eldrazi deck has kind of moved up to the top. It's still around. Modern decks don't really ever go away. So it's still there. So we got a lot of life gain in this hand. Run out, Anointer Priest. And we have Anointed Procession now. So if we get one more land, this hand is going to... This hand is going to do a good job of doing what Tokens is trying to do. Yeah, I think that's the main purpose of Authority. It's good against the hasty creatures from Ramen on Bread, but just to, like, incidentally gain a bit of life, I, it's not really all that impressive to me. Opponent passes. Ooh, and that's a land, too. So play Concealed Courtyard. Run out. Champion. Pass the turn. So if we don't get trampled over... It's going to be pretty easy for us to do our thing. Pass the turn. The Alpha Paladin, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Blue Red Improvise, eh? That looks like a sweet budget deck. I like it. Razakir, for the seventh month in a row, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Opponent. Rampager. Uh, getting in with the cub. Yeah, we're going to double block. See what happens. I think that's all we can really do. Opponent pumps. And harness lightning. Yeah, there's the blowouts. Well, untap, hin stockpile. Crack the map. The bad sticky! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. I haven't built anything with Growing Rice of Itlamak in standard yet. So I think we just have to anointed procession. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think it was still correct to double block there. Yeah, I think there's some cool stuff to do with growing rights of Itlamok. Some potential, at least. Opponent gets in with the cub. It's a... 4-3. Get some energy. Growing rights of Itlamok approach. That's an interesting combo. That would be very different than the traditional approach deck, because you need so many creatures. There's Bristling Hydra. Shevet Dunes. So play Shevet Dunes. I think we just hin stockpile anointed priest, sack anointed priest, anointer priest. Yeah, hin stockpile.
Anointer Priest. Zack Anointer Priest. Another Anointed Procession. Alright, I mean, we're on our jump blocking plan. We can't put our combo pieces to the bottom. Double champion is just double chump block, though. Right? Opponent goes attacking. Well, actually, we'll ju I think we'll chump the cat. Does our opponent have a big trampoline spell? Not yet. Because now we can just get back double priest and hidden stockpile to start making a bunch more tokens. Or we can try to live one more turn and just make four tokens next turn and then do that the next turn with double anointed procession. There's Rampager. Anointed procession. Uh. Yeah, I think we got to do it this way. Play Anointed Procession. Sack our servo. Scry. Land. I guess on top. Pass the turn. Uh, I would probably sell Scarab God around now. I can't imagine it going much higher than $50. I mean, I guess you could wait till the Pro Tour coming up in a couple of weeks, three weeks, but I can't imagine it goes much higher than where it is now. It's already so high. Yeah, next turn we can get back double champion and sack something. So basically, if we can survive this turn, we should be pretty stable. If they have pump spells to kill us this turn, then eh, what do we do? What can we do? Alright, there's our servos. At this point, just lands are fine. Because lands just equal more scrying. Like, at this point, just hitting land drops and scrying with our servos, I think, is a fine plan. I mean, we also could discard it to the... We gotta discard something to the champion. We could also just play start and use start to sacrifice something and kill, like, Long Tusk Cub. We'll see. Ooh, pre-release promo Scarab God. That's super sweet. I think the price of Scarab God will come down eventually, but I wouldn't be surprised if it stayed high, relatively high at least, over the winter. I think it's super good, and I can't imagine that changing too much before Rivals of Ixalan. Why do you know... Uh, why do you know that I appreciate you and you're a huge inspiration for me in Magic, and I'm happy to say I've been a proud Magic player for two years now. Oh, well, thank you, pack openers, and that's awesome. Thank you for the kind words. Definitely appreciate it. I mean, I guess it could get banned. Yeah, start will make... How many tokens will this make? Six? Eight? Eight tokens. Right? Two, two, two. So as long as we don't get janked out... Oh, it's happening. Really? Okay. So we're not just dead. We're low on life, but we're not dead. Well, we I think now we definitely have to champion. Oh my goodness. Nightmare! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops Tier 4, our new subscriber. Well, thank you, the Dark Ninja. I love all of you, too. You all are amazing. It's only because of you that <laughs> we get to do all of this. So thanks to all of you, seriously. 
All right, yeah. I mean, I think we uh, do. We just discard the planes. Yeah, discard the planes. I think we gotta do this now. One, two, three, four. Discard the planes. Gain a little bit of life. <laughs> yes. And then we get to sacrifice a Sunscourge champion. That feels counterintuitive, but it's got to be correct. To trade one of these, we do want the land. That lets us start and flashback start to get eh, a few servos. Wait, what was the pun about? And our opponent scoops it up. Why is there freaking out? Didn't we just gain a ton of life and win? Did I... What did I do wrong? <laughs> is chili a soup? I don't know, but it's gross. It's gross. And so is soup, so yes. If me not liking something is how you define soup, then yes, chili is a soup. <laughs> oh, man, I hate chili. And also soup. <laughs> Uh, what what were you thinking? That I should have done Anointer Priest? Maybe that's possible. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, not playing Scarab God is probably a pun. I think we got better bodies from going the direction we went. And now what? Do we just run it back like this? I guess. Oh my goodness. Why does this keep happening? Why does this never happen to us for an entire year? A whole year we never had this happen. Like once in like an entire year we had the stream go down. And now we've had it happen like three times in the past week. And like everyone leaves, we lose, we go from 1,500 viewers to 200 viewers. I don't understand. I don't get it. And I don't know, I don't know what to do about it. Huh. I don't know. Well, I guess we keep this on the draw. Yeah, maybe it's me. Maybe it's my internet. I don't know. No, I haven't contacted Twitch. It's been, I think, the last three streams this has happened. And before that, it had basically never happened. I think we're just going to cycle cast out here. Choosy, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Yeah, I mean, I think some people just, uh... Yeah, maybe it's just Twitch showing it that way. But it's definitely not helpful, because some number of people probably don't realize that the stream comes back on. I don't know. It's definitely just an annoyance to have this happen semi-regularly for no apparent reason. Would you want an infinite Thopter turn list for standard? Uh, yeah. I'm all about infinite things, and that sounds pretty sweet. Alright, we're hitting our lands. Um, well, let's duress our opponent. Invigorated Rampage, two creatures. All right, take the Rampage. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. I mean, hopefully this Bantu's Last Reckoning just seals the deal. It's weird because I've run like speed tests and stuff and it seems like it's fine. Yeah, if we wait a turn, it gives our opponent more time to draw into stuff. So there's Brawler. Hits us for a bit. Yup. Down to 16. Rampager. Sure. Well, Crack Evolving Wilds. 
Grab a planes, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we can always duress on turn two after giving our opponent more time to draw into something. Ooh, more anointed possessions. Well, play courtyard. Play anointer priest, pass the turn. I thought that uh, we maybe had gotten it fixed by turning down some of the settings, but apparently it's just doing it again. Opponent. What's the better tribe in standard right now? Ugh. Um... Yeah, I don't know why it's I don't know why it's lagging so much. Alright, so let's Let's block, I guess. Pass the turn. And Bristling Hydra. So now we just got a Wrath, I believe. Donation from 59502413. Twitch is so lag. I think Twitch has some problems. It's okay. We still love you, Seth. Well, thank you so much for the donation, 595. And I got to get this figured out. I don't know why this keeps being such a huge issue for us. I wish I could figure it out, but I haven't been able to yet. Uh, I was hoping... I was hoping that we'd have it figured out tonight with some of the changes we made, but apparently not yet still. Opponent in the tank. I mean, we get to Bantu's Last Reckoning here. Hey, what's up, Super Grex? How goes it tonight? Uh, best tribal in standard. Uh, none of the tribes are especially good right now. I'd probably still go with dinosaurs, maybe, or... Uh, I guess dinosaurs or pirates are the two leading ones, I would say. But I don't think any of them really keep up with energy. No, we're still online, I believe. We're just waiting for our opponent to actually do something. Uh, I've never used untap.in. It's all of Twitch lagging and not just the stream? Well, I mean, I guess that's somewhat encouraging. But still not ideal. Let's play our swamp. And just... I think we just got a Bantu's Last Reckoning here. Get rid of the board. We do got to skip our next turn, unfortunately, but... Pass the turn. I think Merfolk are probably going to have to wait for the winner set. Oh, no. No big follow-up. Oh, Cycles. Okay. Come on, no creature. A tune, not a creature. Yeah, there shouldn't be any delay on the chat. Opponent passes. I think. Yup. Okay. Well, we might as well duress. Ooh, 
We might. Oh, just lands? Oh, we might be we might be coming back. We might be stealing this win. We might be getting it. Pona plays a root bound, Craig. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pona passes. We might be sneaking out our winning record after all. Anointed procession. Pass the turn. Servant of the Conduit, sure. Opponent passes. Well, Anointed Procession number two, also, Legion's Landing. And I think we got there. I think we got there. Pass the turn. Yeah, we'll hold on to the cast out for now, just in case. Do I use untapped IN? Uh, I'm not even sure what that is, so no, I don't think I do the Dark Ninja. Opponent. Scoops it up, and we got there. Whew. Um... I think that green-red energy is the better of the two decks. If you had to choose and the goal was just to win, I think that that would be the best way to go. Yeah, pass the turn would be a good emote. Well, I will have to look into it, the Dark Ninja. The full art lands our opponent had are from Zendikar. I believe the original Zendikar. Oh, goodness. Oh, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Well, I guess I know what's at the top of my... Top of my agenda. Which is, uh... Figuring out why the... Why the Twitch stream is having issues. But we'll make it through tonight. We'll make it through tonight and hopefully we'll, uh... We'll be good for Tuesday. We'll figure something out. We get to play first. And, yeah, all right. This hand looks pretty fine. Uh, we're up to two and two with Abzan Token. So this one is for the treasure chest. Determines if the kids get to eat tonight. <laughs> gotta, gotta get the win here after kind of a sluggish start. But I think we, we can do it. Renegade map go. Yeah, I don't really play too many leagues. Toolcraft Exemplar for our opponent. Interesting. Well, let's play the Plains. Play Legion's Landing. And pass the turn. Yeah, this hand looks super good. Even better now that we have Anointed Procession. There's an Ether Hub for our opponent. And a Heart of Kirin. Are we playing the same person that we played before with Mardu? Toolcraft Exemplar. Opponent's getting in. Alright, we'll take it. Yeah, opponent's got the nice white border lands. Well, let's get in for one with our Vampire. Play Hidden Stockpile. Crack Renegade map, grab a forest, play Concealed Courtyard. And yeah, let's just pass. You can use Throne of the God Pharaohs and crew any one vehicle to tap all your dudes and drain. Yeah, that's kind of a cool way to combo kill. When would be a good time to buy cards like the Scarab God, Fetid Pools, Drowned Catacombs... Uh, they're already pretty expensive, so I think we're already kind of to, I don't know, max, like, I think that's, that the prices are where they are, basically. I can't imagine that they're going to get significantly cheaper from here. Uh, do we just have to kill this? Hmm... 
I don't really want our opponent to start drawing. The problem is if we push the tool craft, then we get run over by... Then we get run over by Heart of Kirin. Well, we can't just push the heart until they turn it on. We can't push the heart unless it's a creature. Push only hits creatures. Alright. Evolving Wilds. Well, play Anointed Procession. Pass the turn. We're just going to set up for next turn. Hopefully, I mean, we take a big hit here, but hopefully we stabilize from here. I think we need to kill the Heart of Kirin. I don't think, unless we draw another removal spell, I don't think we can push any non-Heart of Kirin card. I think that's the that's the problem. Uh, I don't think we can attack with the vampire into the rune raider. Opponent triggers toolcraft. Cruise the heart of Kirin. Yep. I mean, we'll definitely double block rune raider here, given the opportunity. If our opponent wants to use a removal spell, that's fine. I don't think we can not... I don't think we can spend push on anything except Heart of Kirin. There's Disintegration. Yep. Down to eight. Opponent plays a tap land. Draws a Hazorat. Uh-oh. Kinda could use a... Yikes. Well, use something. Play Legion's Landing. Keep a Legion's Landing. Get some tokens. Hidden Stockpile. Sack of Vampire, Scry, Anointer Priest will keep on top. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Get some Servos. Oh, Hazorat. Hazorat is pretty much the new... The new, uh... The new Gideon. That or the Scarab God. Our revolt stuff only works on our turn. Pony has Scrappy Scrounger. And Bomat Courier. Goes to combat. Yup. Tax with everything. So block, block, block. Take two. Oh, come on. No fatal push. Uh, all right. Down to six. Another bomb at courier. Wow, this is going to be close. All right, so play Anointer Priest, Crack of Alving Wilds, grab a Plains, play Chef at Dunes. Pass the turn, get some tokens, gain some life. We might be stabilizing now. <sighs> Hazaret's still a concern until we find a cast out. I say bomb it properly every once in a while. When I... Uh, every now and then. <laughs> uh, Ruin Raider for our opponent. Again. Aye. Alright. Goes to combat. Triggers Toolcraft. Cruise Heart of Kirin. 
All right, so now we're going to kill Heart of Kirin. Whew! Holding on to that Fatal Push. Opponent swings with everything. Well, block here. Block here. Block here? We need to be able to trigger Revolt next turn, though. It's going to be... Uh, how do we trigger Revolt if we block like this? We don't want to sack a Noiner Priest. I guess we can just take three. We'll take three. Block, block. Yeah, that is good news that no Hazard's down. Down to five. Opponent draws. Down to eight for Harvester. Alright, sack our servo. Ooh. Hmm. Well, we're gonna keep it. Another Anointer Priest. Get back our Anointer Priest. Gain some life. I think we might be to the point where we can gain enough life that we're not really in danger of dying. Especially with another Anointer Priest in hand. Opponent Fatal pushes one Anointer Priest. Alright. That does fizzle us a bit. Oh, uh, what's up, Prideful, Prideful Pelican? It's going pretty well. Having some stream, la stream lagging issues, which is annoying, but otherwise. Opponent, there's the Harvester. Triggers. Attacks with everything. Well, kill Ruin Raider. Take some damages. Down to five. Wow! All right, opponent. Well, that worked out. Play Anointer Priest. Sack Anointer Priest. Hidden Stockpile. I guess to the top. Get back Anointer Priest. Gain a bunch of life. End step. I think we finally got through the fatal pushes. Back up to 13. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I think we might have we might have finally gotten there. There's the Hazarat. Yup. Opponent triggers toolcraft. Cruise. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Let's just chump with a servo. Take six. Untap. Hidden stockpile. Get in with our servo. Sack our servo. We'll keep the cast out. Pass the turn. Get a few tokens. Back up to 15. Pass the turn. I have the feeling a hidden stockpile is really difficult to keep track of for people. I've been selling a lot with the... Or setting it a lot with the white-black X decks lately. Jeez, another heart of Kirin. Well, if our opponent can just fly over us, that is a potential issue. But we're gaining a lot of life each turn. Triggers Toolcraft... Yup. We might be good. We might be good. Here's Ether Sphere. Opponent. Gets in with Ether Sphere. We'll take it. Draw the cast out. Sack a servo. Courtyard to the bottom. Pass the turn. Uh, is it worth flipping landing? Yeah, I think so. Flip landing.
Cruise Artagirin. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. Yeah, I guess we sacked a servo unnecessarily, basically. Ooh. Yeah, we'll keep Big Mama Pirate. And now we get some tokens. Gain some life. And this is where the deck is pretty unbeatable-ish. Once we're getting all these tokens, all this life, it's so hard for decks to keep up with it. Like, we were so close to being dead, and now we are pretty easily very alive. Yeah, no timeouts for us, thankfully. Pona has the Bonded Courier, or Bomat Courier, whichever you prefer. Goes to combat, triggers toolcraft. <laughs> Gets in to draw a card. Yup. I mean, you, get, you do what you gotta do with the bonded courier. Bonus exit, draws a card. I think our opponent knows that the end is very much near. I would not be surprised to see a scoop here in a second. And our opponent scoops it up. All right. One win away. One win away from the from the perfect record. We are close. We are close. We are close. Uh, all right. I think our plan was maybe we should be bringing an Angel of Sanctions here. I think it's Angel of Sanctions comes in. Treasure map goes down. Liliana goes down. And then maybe Sun Scourge Champion for Veraska, And try it like that. I think we're going to try it like that. Oh, man. We might have turned it around to sneak out the winning record. Why do you sound like someone is occasionally pinching? Uh, I don't know. I guess that's uh, just how I sound. Well, we got our Anointed Processions. Also got a Fumigate. We don't have a Hidden Stockpile yet. Fatal Push is not bad. Conceal Courtyard Go. I mean, this is a... This is a hand that wins if we draw one piece and gets our... Uh... Draw one piece and hit our lands. Alright, play Swamp. Play Renegade map. Pass the turn. I don't think if... Authority doesn't do anything versus crews, really. I mean, I guess it stops the creature coming down from crewing, but I don't think it's actually... I don't think it's actually all that good. What does our opponent take here? It might have to be, like, the Fumigate? I don't know. Anointed Procession is definitely the scariest card long term. Takes the Fatal Push. Opponent's going aggro. Well, let's see if that pays off for him. Opponent gets in. Down to 17. Plays a land. Passes. Uh, ooh. Well, play Dunes. Actually, let's just... Play Anointer Priest, but tap properly. There we go. Play Anointer Priest, pass the turn. We're going to wait on Legion's Landing for after we get down our Anointed Processions. Renegade Map triggers Revolt and is essentially a land. So it triggers Revolt for our Hidden Stockpiles. Opponent has a land. Gets in with Scrappy. Down to 14. And passes. Well, crack the map. Grab a planes. Play the planes. Anointed procession number one coming down. Pass the turn. This is where things start to look good for us. This is where we want to be. Sticking the anointed processions. Alright, opponent kills anointer priest. We'd love to just draw land. Oh, oh, opponent got it all. Got it all, got it all, got it all. Yikes, okay. That's a little scarier. Opponent. 
Gets in with Scrap Heap Scrounger. Down to 11. They do know about the Fumigate. Uh, I don't think we're going to have Momir tonight. The combination of the laggy stream and fairly long gameplay means I think we're probably not going to do Momir tonight. Pass the turn. No, not another one. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Really? Really, opponent. Alright. Well, opponent's got all the Forsake the Worldlies. That's got to be like all they have in their entire sideboard. Opponent cycles. Gets in with the Scrap Heap Scrounger. Well, crack this. Grab our forest. More Evolving Wilds. Well, get back, Anointer Priest. Gain a life. Play Legion's Landing. <laughs> oh my goodness, our opponent. Opponent's had just like an insane amount of disruption. I don't know if the lag's on my end or not. I don't know why the stream is crashing and being laggy. I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is. Which version of tokens is best? Ah, I don't know. I mean, we might squeak out a winning record with Abzan. I the other version has Scarab God, the Esper version, which is such a good card. Well, we're just going to keep drawing Renegade maps, and I guess playing Renegade maps. Pass the turn. Yeah, our opponent just had too much disruption. Yeah, it might be Twitch. I really, I don't know why we're having so many problems. Opponent gets in with Scrap Heap Scrounger. Down to three. Plays an Ether Hub. Oh man, I guess we actually literally have to fumigate a Scrap Heap Scrounger. That does not feel good. Play Legion's Landing. Get a 1 1. Pass the turn. Come on, deck! Come on, deck! There's Toolcraft. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, we're back to being dead. Crack Renegade map. We need to draw something here. Ooh! Hmm. How do we do this now? Ugh, how do we do this? Veraska kill Thopter? Is that our line? That is so weird. That might... I don't think it was a punt to not cast Fatal Push on turn two. I think that's what we gotta do. Play Big Mama Pirate. I think we actually have to kill Thopter. Play the planes, pass the turn. If we kill Pia, they get back Scrap Heap Scrounger. Pass the turn. Come on, whiff. Yup, opponent. Yes, yes. Attacks, attacks. Block tool craft. At three still. Another tool craft. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need a draw again. We need a draw. Come on, deck. Uh... 
Yeah, the planes is good. And that does it, unfortunately. Yup. Well, that was a incredible amount of disruption from our opponent. So much disruption. Can we find a way to bring in dresses? Maybe? How do you feel about green-white vehicles with 12 three-powered one-drops to fuel Heart of Kirin? Uh, what are your 12 three-powered one-drops? Alright, so... Uh, can we bring in... How would we bring in dresses? That's the problem. I guess we can go, like... I don't even know if we want to bring in... I guess we can bring in a couple... Duress, go down a Veraska and a start finish? Something like that? We just weren't able to get our engine online that game. Maybe a cast out for Duress, too. Let's try it like that. Oh, that sounds pretty sweet, Big Daddy Poo. That's a cool idea. Old Growth is just so painful to play. All right, we get to play first. Ugh. Can we keep this? I'm having a person at the card shop say my deck is bad since it wasn't drawing lands or was not drawing board clears. The only reason he says that is due to me playing Sunbird's Invocation. If I show you the deck, can you give me some advice on how to make it better? Um... I mean, I can take a quick look at it. I couldn't do a super in-depth breakdown live on the stream, but if you want to stick a link, I don't mind taking a, a peek at it. Yeah, you can link your deck list. All right, let's mulligan. All right, we'll keep this, I guess. Evolving Wilds to the bottom. So, let's get down Legion's Landing. Get our 1-1 Lifelinker. Pass the turn. Opponent leads on a tap land. Renegade map, eh? Do you think this deck is much worse without Veraska? I mean, I think you can play it without Veraska, but I think Veraska is pretty good in the deck. The Green White Vehicles deck is... It seems interesting. I'm a little skeptical of Old Growth Dryads being good, but it's a really... It looks like a fun, aggressive idea. Um, so let's get in for one, gain a life. Play Renegade Map. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Much Brew Tesserator Marionette Master. Ooh, hard to cure in for our opponent. Yeah, I really like uh, Tezzeret right now. Tezzeret seems surprisingly good. Well, get in with our Vampire. We just gotta do this 18 more times. And we win. It's that simple. I mean, I think your Sunbird Invocation deck... It looks... I mean, 
it looks fine to generate value off of it. You got a lot of spells to cast. I think, I don't know. The only thing I would say is the awkwardness of it might be so many counters. The counters, I know, seem good, but they're actually pretty awkward hits off Sunbird Invocation. So that would be the one thing to consider, is if there's a way to have more good hits off Sunbird Invocation instead of having as many counter spells. More Hardicurans. So many Hardicurans. Ooh. Anointed Procession. Well, get in with our Vampire. I think we're just going to pass and kill Heart of Kirin. Uh, Anointed Procession isn't doing anything yet anyway. There's Scrappy Scrounger. Yep. Yeah, let's just cast out it. How do you feel about Explore with Panharmonicon? I mean, it's a pretty reasonable mechanic to use with Panharmonicon. Ooh, interesting. I mean, that's a that's an interesting Panharmonicon take. Scarab God is sweet in it. If budget isn't a concern, I might look at... Like, we found Hostage Taker to be insane with Panharmonicon. So, I know when I built the the Salt Eye Panharmonicon deck recently, it had a lot of those, a lot of those same synergies, but also, but also some other cards as well. So, I don't know if you have to be, like, full-on Explorer Tribal Panharmonicon. Don't has Fatal Push. Sure. Well, let's crack the map. Get our forest. Play our forest. Pass the turn. Oh, can you send me your list again? Six bucks. Opponent. Getting in for six, unfortunately. Yep. Down to 14. And passes. Well, let's let's think about this. Let's run out Sunscourge Champion, gain a couple life. We actually just kind of want it to die so we can get it back and gain a ton of life and have 4-4s. Four Why not run Srom's Expertise? Uh, it's just kind of unnecessary. Opponent. Always with those Forsake the Worldlies. They have a really... Must have a lot of those in their sideboard somehow. Yeah, Wild Growth Walkers is an in, uh, interesting way of attacking it. Opponent. Goes attacking. Well, we'll kill your Toolcraft with our champions. Down to 13. Well, I guess we cycle cast out. And Fatal Push. <laughs> Not that it's doing much, but might as well. <laughs> Alright, Sunscourge Champion coming back. Discard our planes. Unfortunately not doubling up, but still a 4-4. Four -four. Gains us some life. We might be sneaking it out. I feel like we're not in the worst of shape. It really depends on what our opponent's last cards are. We don't have any of our engine pieces. Uh, Chandra, that is a great last card. Actually, probably their best last card. And now we're in really bad shape. We will draw some lands, which our deck is known to do. 
The Grixis creativity duck looks pretty spicy. Got some really good targets. Hitting Marionette Master is pretty nice. Opponent adds mana. And I think the end is here for our token attempt. Hazara, oh my god. Well, one of those they just drew, because they only had one card in hand. So they just top tagged one of those cards. Uh, yeah, we draw. Nothing of relevance. Good god. Fatal push doesn't do anything, and that does it. So, well, there mercifully ends Abzan Token. So, I don't know about this deck. I just, I don't know. I, I have never been able to have success with these token decks. I have been able to play them, and I think they're really fun and cool as, like, against the odds decks. But other people have success with them and play them at tournaments and stuff, and... I just don't know. I have never been able to make that happen. So I don't understand how people always win with uh, with these decks. But I don't know. I think it's fun. I really like the idea of the deck. But it feels like you really need all your pieces to come together. Like when you have Anointed Procession or two, Hidden Stockpile or two, and Anointer Priest, you can see the power of the deck. Like there were games when we were down at zero, then suddenly just shoot up to like 30 or 40 life. So you can see some some of the power of the deck, but I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, that's Absan Tokens. It's good enough, I guess, to, to play, but maybe it's just something you gotta play a ton. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the kids are going hungry, unfortunately. But... Uh, well, I'm sorry about the stream trouble. I have no idea what's up with the lagging and stuff. I'm going to have to try to uninstall and reinstall stuff and maybe get in contact with Twitch because we can't have this happening. It's the third stream in a row that's happened on. So I will try to look into that over over the weekend. But I think that's going to bring us to the end for the night. So... Uh, the kids are starving. Thank you, everyone, for sticking it out, though, even with some of the stream troubles. Definitely appreciate it. So let's do some reminders. First off, MTG Goldfish Replay YouTube. That's where you can find all the old streams, including this one, in the future. So make sure to check that out if you want to catch up on any of the old streams. The normal YouTube, Commander Clash Season 4 kicking off tomorrow. You have Much Brew, Against Odds, Budget Magic, all that sweet stuff. So check that out as well. Merch page with tokens and t-shirts and play mats. And that's a great way to support the stream and the channel and the site. So... I think that does it for tonight, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out, sticking with us through the stream difficulties. I'll try again to get it fixed over the weekend, so hopefully we'll be good to go when we're back on Tuesday for another one. So, everyone, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for subbing and donating and just for hanging out because you are super amazing and awesome. So, thanks again. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon.